Hustle and Main, as you can see, it's a phenomenal event right here in downtown Pike 1 Main Street. It brings the Main Street and downtown back to life of what it used to be a long time ago. Uh, it's, a, it's an auto enthusiast and also a spectator event. Uh, you, you bring car clubs like the Good Old Boys Car Club together along with community residents that enjoy a positive family atmosphere. You know, it's a good thing that we have a city commission like we do that sees the need for this event, uh, supports this event, and with sponsors such as Ferrell Gas, LA, Bruce Walters Ford, people like that, City Tire and Auto, there's so many sponsors, Billy Johnson, Speed by Design, UMG, Summit Engineering, every business in, you know, is a part of this. So when you can combine a, a local car club and the community and the businesses, you know, you generate a positive atmosphere like this that is always just a great turnout. You know, if you look at today, we probably, I know we had over 200 cars, and we probably had 3,000 people by the end of the day. So, you know, I mean, what more can you ask for that's happening right here in downtown on a Saturday? You know, and, and that's the thing. That's the thing that the commission wants to do, provide a better quality of life for our community. Uh, I'm grateful to be the person that is in the event directing side to be able to put this thing together and coordinate and work with these partnerships and community relationships uh, and to help bring this, bring a fun thing right here to downtown Pikeville. It's the second Saturday, May through October, and on Friday night before, we have a block party. Watch for that. Come down to that. We had over 100 cars last night. Big turnout. And, you know, the good old boys car club are always here. So even if you've got a car and you're not from Pike, well, come on down. Those guys welcome you with open arms. They do a great job. And we make sure we make sure everybody has fun. You know, and that's the bottom line. It's all about fun, bettering the quality of life for our community, and giving everybody something to do on the weekends. Here, this is a 53 Ford we got here. It's been restored. It's the last of the flatheads. It's a Ford anniversary model. We have a 56 Ford also with two four barrel and a 73 with a 427 NASCAR. But uh, you know, we live with cars. We lost an antique shooting back up here in the flood, and uh, it meant more to my wife. This, this old car stuff is just great, and it's so great that the city has stepped up and done this. My brother had it over in Harlan County, and he restored it. Also, if you'll notice, this is a 53 Ford. If you go back and watch the movie, uh, the Thunder Road movie. Robert Mitchum drove a car like this. This car was sold in Harlan where the start of uh, Thunder Road was filmed. So that's one of the reasons we got it. It had no rust or anything. It's, it didn't have any upholstery, it had been deteriorated. The car's been painted, it's not clear coated. That's standard black paint. A gentleman, George Barnes over in Harlan, sewed up all this upholstery, it's not bald. We rebuilt the engine, it's just been all the way through. It's, it's a good daily driver. We, we don't stick them back in the garage and not drive them. It's, it can be driven anytime. This is a 1955 uh, Cadillac Fleetwood Series 60. Uh, this is uh, the exact make and model that Elvis Presley drove in 55 when he uh, hit it big and drove down south to Alabama, Mississippi, Texas, and got real popular. This is the exact make and model that uh, he drove. This, eventually, what happened was Elvis uh, drove this car for nine months. Uh, got a little bit too small. He wanted to add a drummer. Uh, so he drove it back up to Memphis and uh, wanted, he loved the car so much he wanted to give it to his mom. In fact, uh, he went up, up the road there to one of his buddies, had a body shop and him and his buddy sat down and they actually mixed the pink color that's the famous you know pink Cadillac everybody knows about that hit Graceland so uh, uh, they painted it pink and uh, he gave it to his mom her husband drove it uh, but basically this is this is the car that uh, at least the make and the model in the series of the famous Elvis pink Cadillac. My goal is to paint it pink. I've looked, I've looked for this car for about two years. It's been hard to find. Uh, the reason I wanted to get this car is because I'm, uh, I'm an Elvis uh, tribute artist. So uh, probably a lot of the area has heard me sing different places. So I put the black wig on and put the jumpsuit on and go out and sing and uh, do Elvis performances. So uh, I thought a car like this would be great to add uh, to the show when I 
being an Elvis guy and like an Elvis, it'll just kind of add to everything. Well, thank you. Well, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. This is a 1953 Ford 50th year anniversary truck. It's 59 years old. I built it from the ground up. It has power disc brakes all the way around it. It has power steering, tilt steering. Uh, I did it, no car shifter. Uh, all Everything on it from front to back is brand new. It's got a 302 roller motor in it with overdrive. This truck drives like a brand new one. It's a, it's a 1949 Mercury. Uh, top spin shop, four inches in front, about four and a half in the back. It's got uh, late model running gear, uh, four wheel disc brake, power steering, all the creature comforts. I've had the car for 30 years, so uh, uh, my brother-in-law had a, a 50 Mercury, and he got me into the Mercury's and I wanted one, so I ended up buying this one. Uh, after 30 years, I've pretty much got it done the way I want. It's a 71 Chevelle SS Supersport. I have actually put a new motor in it, uh, redid the interior, new wheels, and just completely redone the whole car. I've owned it for like seven years, and I just enjoy driving it. I just like the uh, old muscle cars, and I like this uh, cruise on main. Then you get to the river fill at 7 o'clock, and let me tell you, it is absolutely something spectacular to see. City Tire and Auto does a fantastic job with this. Brandon Productions, the Pikeville Fire Department's always there. They're always helping, watering down the, uh, the, the burnout pan, making sure everybody's got what they need. Safety's first. Uh, that's the number one thing that, that the commission ensured uh, for us to do, is to make sure that the community is safe and that they can enjoy these events and not have to worry about that. So as you see, there's as many strollers as there are little children walking around. So, And that's the great thing about the event too. In the, in the river field, you start seeing the pink smoke and the red smoke go up in the sky, you know we're rocking. So, and, and we get these cars and really nice muscle cars, new cars, old cars. They get on that burnout pad, they get to flex that muscle of that car, shoot down the, down the parking lot. And so it's, uh, we have a big time. Got a lot of little things down there that Jeff does. And, and Jeff Branham's always a great performer with the, with the audio and stuff and gets the crowd interacted and uh, you know so we, we enjoy it. We just have a great time.